I see the soul that came in the womb, came from where? From Allah. Came into this baby, the baby was born, the baby lived for 8, 9, 10, 8 years. And then when the soul leaves, this is what Allah told us. So how could we believe the baby came, the soul came, but we not believe in it's going to go? Then we don't believe in Allah. We can't question. And listen, this is something very important. We are not supposed to say, Allah, why? Allah said, why? I told her that already. Why are you questioning why? Go in the Quran and see why. If we don't question why the soul came in the mother's womb into the baby, then we cannot question when the soul leaves. We just got to struggle with the crying, with the sadness, with the love and the missing, because we're human beings. And we have seen that in the life of the Prophet He cried for his children that passed away. He cried for his wife. He cried. He was only a human being, and that's the reality of the understanding. And sometimes people, I know some people tell you don't cry, but what is not recommended in Islam is to scream and shout and wail and whine and as though the world has come to an end. That we cannot do. Because then, uh, then we are questioning why Allah did something. We don't do that. But we can weep and we can cry. We are human beings. We have seen that reality in the Sunnah of the Prophet Out of missing the person. But listen, you know what? Sometimes people say it's a loss. You know, some radio news station tells you, we regret to announce the loss of so-and-so. We can't regret the soul went back to Allah. Muslims don't say those words. And I want to share that because I grew up hearing this on the radio. We regret to announce the death of so-and-so. We don't regret. We did not regret when the soul came into the womb. Are you going to regret when the soul continued its journey? We just have to believe, accept, that is the work of Allah. That's what Allah keeps on telling us. Mm -hmm. And how could you lose what never belonged to you? Oh, I lost my mother. Well, you lost that. Your mother never belonged to you. I lost my child. Your child never belonged to you. That's why Allah is saying, Inna lillahi. Your child, your mother, your loved one belonged to Allah. Came into the womb. The soul came. And I want to repeat this so we'll understand it. Soul spent some time in this body. And the soul went back to Allah. You cannot lose what did not belong to you. Isn't it? Huh? Brother Shamir? If you lend your son a motor car, and then you, you said, okay, it was only for three days, could he go and tell people, I lost my car? He just, you, he just borrowed it. You just lent it to him. You don't lose it. It belonged to you. We don't lose. We gotta, these are some things we just got to accept. And these are some of the things I'm telling myself. I listen. I can't be telling people and reminding people and reminding and I can't remind, remind myself when the reality hit. This is just a strength. Mm -hmm. And then Allah says, Ulaika alayhim salawatu min rabbihim wa rahma wa ulaika humul muhtadun. In the next verse 157 of Surah Baqarah, 